Hi, my name is Steve Potts and this is the McDonald Minute. Today I'd like to talk to you about troubleshooting a submersible pump and having the proper voltage. The proper voltage is important because if you don't have that, your pump will either not run or it will run and it will run on high amps and damage the pump. In the pump department, over the course of a year, we take many calls concerning troubleshooting a submersible pump. And the first question we ask is, what is your voltage? In order to check your voltage, you will need to have a digital voltmeter. If you don't have a digital voltmeter, it will be hard for us to troubleshoot your pump. Most systems we troubleshoot is 230 volt, so we will use that as our example. Submersibles come in either a two wire or three wire configuration. A two wire does not have a control box and a three wire does have a control box. In the three wire system, your voltage is always checked in your control box on line one and line two. If you have proper voltage there, continue troubleshooting your pump. If not, go back to your pressure switch where the power from your disconnect box will always go on the outside and the power to your control box will always go on the inside. On a two-wire system, the voltage from your disconnect box will always go on the outside and the voltage to your submersible pump will always go on the inside. My name is Steve Potts and this has been a McDonald Minute. Still have questions? Please give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Stay connected with us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.